guys, welcome to this video and my channel. My name is Heather. I am the owner and creator here at Wicked Whiskey Designs. And today we are working on black opals. Look at all of that. Ah, love it. These are super easy to do and so much fun. These are, you know, it's one of those cups that looks like there's a lot going on, but I promise it's all easy and you can customize this in so many different ways. It's just a really fun, really dramatic, really pretty cup. If you're interested in any of the products that I use to make this cup, look down in the description box below. I have links to pretty much everything that I use and there may even be a coupon code or two down there to help save a little bit of money. Uh, and if you're new to this channel, please consider liking and subscribing. This is a relatively new channel, but I am trying to put out as much content as I can. So you definitely want to get notified of when those new videos dropped. And please do not even think about leaving this video without checking out the tips and tricks section at the end of the video. That's where I share with you all of my tips and tricks that I've learned along the way to help you make a cup like this as perfect and as easy as possible the first time around. So I think that pretty much wraps up this intro. I'm gonna go ahead and get started, show you everything you need to make this cup. Let's go have some fun. Hey guys, what are we doing this week? A naked cup, that's what we're doing. Okay, listen, so what I'm thinking we're gonna do this week is a black opal. I love, love black opals, I really do. They are 1000% my vibe. Like I just, you start putting color shift stuff on a black opal, it makes my little black heart go pitter patter. So we're gonna do a black opal. Now I will say that I'm gonna call this a basic black opal in that my brain started, this happens when you stay up till two in the morning watching Criminal Mind reruns. My brain started going in a different direction. And I was like, you know what? What if we do, you know, X, Y, Z, and then we do the opal on top of it. And then we do this and like, like completely took it to the next level. But my brain just kind of like giddy up on one little spot, one little, one little part of the process. I was like, how would that even work? So I'm going to continue to get my brain screwed into the process and then we will do a second black opal down the line, like maybe the next week or so-ish. Um, if I can just work out, iron out that one last little part. But in the meantime, we are gonna do what I'm gonna call a basic original black opal, which, oh my word, you are gonna have so much fun doing this cup. Um, I am starting with, I have a case of these. If you're ever wondering why I use this particular style and yet I don't sell this particular style, um, I have like a free case of these and they've been sitting in my, my craft room for, I don't know, three years. So we're gonna start, we can use these. Anyway, um, we are going to spray paint this black to start with. We are then going to apply copious amounts of a variety of glitters, okay? The next process is obviously we're going to do a seal coat of epoxy. We're going to add a little bit of black pigment. A little goes a very long way. A little bit of black pigment. We're going to add a little bit extra glitter and flake on top. It's going to be amazing. Like I haven't picked out the glitters yet, but I promise you it's going to be banging. So this is a tutorial that I think we've all been waiting for, including myself. We are going to go ahead and go get started. I'm going to spray paint this black and we're going to go ahead and start having some fun. Okay, let's talk real quick about what makes this cup absolutely amazing. And then we're gonna jump into the glitter colors and then we're gonna get started because I cannot wait to do this. I had this cup in my store years ago and um, it's quite honestly one of my favorites and I just haven't had time to you know, give it a little facelift. So I'm excited. What we are talking about when we talk about a black opal cup is this stuff right here. This is black pigment. It is thick and it is black like the blackest black. I think my husband referred to it once as as black as your little black heart, which would be me. And so we're talking the deepest depths of black here. <laughs> this is what makes this cup amazing. Now, um, it, it can take over the cup very quickly, so you only need a tiny little amount. And I'll say it again, it's, it's as black as it can be. Now, if you don't have access to this, I bought this off Amazon, I think for like six bucks. Um, I have never seen it out in the wild, if you will. Like if you go to like Michael's craft store or Joanne's or whatever, I've never seen this out, but then again, maybe I missed it, but I haven't seen it anywhere except online. If you don't have access to something like this, 
if you're not able to get this. Um, you can still make this cup. You would just use something like black alcohol ink, something along the lines of say um, pinata or you know like Tim Holtz, something like that. Uh, it, it's if you go on Amazon and say you get like do what I do and you have like the the packs of like you know 25 colors and those little tiny bottles. Their black and their white don't come close to, like I said, for for instance, pinata. It's it's the pigment's not there. Um, the white is usually like very, like milky and weird. Um, the black is like a gray. Okay, you can use them. You can absolutely use them. But if you want to replicate the blackness as close as you can get without using, you know, the super special magic black pigment here. I would go with like a really a good quality black um, black alcohol ink. It'll be thinner. You can still make it happen. I've used it before. Once upon a time when I did this cup for the first time, I didn't know black pigment even existed because I was all new and shiny. I used black alcohol ink and it came out just fine. So you can do that too. But if you do have access, pick up the black pigment. It's amazing. Let's go look at glitter colors because I think I might have screwed something up a little bit. All right, let's talk about glitter colors. We have here Rebound. Uh, I think it's Rebound Vibes from It's Pretty Personal. We have Nurple XL. We have probably um, a glitter that I've bought from every chance I get from probably six or seven different vendors. It's all the same glitter, though. Um, it's like a really pretty purple color shift. I've got um, Honest Blue, which is like a banging electric blue. I've got a Chunky Teal, a bluey green kind of a Jurassic color shift and frosted pineapple, which is a really pretty yellow translucent. I actually like to use this a lot after the black opal is added, but I, I am going to add it on the base a little bit this time too. So this is our lineup and I am super crazy excited. So let's go get started. Start by adding approximately 25 mLs of epoxy to your cup using a glove hand. You want to make sure that your entire cup is covered in a very thin layer of epoxy because that is what is going to hold your glitter in place. Let's go ahead. I'm going to put these glitters on in no order whatsoever. What we're going to do is just kind of sprinkle them around um, so that the entire cup is covered. I'm starting with... Rebound Vibes. We are going to, this is not my favorite spinner to do this on, but um, it's very windy by my garage door right now. And as you see, we are just going to go ahead and just do little splotches. You can use all fine glitter. You can mix and match. There's no right answer. There's no wrong answer. And like I said, you're literally just, you know, making little sections for each glitter color. And what this is going to do is when we do the black on top, oh, it's going to be so pretty. And I have to be honest, I used to only do fine glitter because I thought that was kind of like the way to go. Ah, I gotta say, I kind of like the chunky in there. It gives it a little extra special something. And keep in mind, not all, oh God, please don't blow my glitter all over that. Um, sorry, my garage door is open. For some reason, it's very windy today, or else I'd be doing this down at the other end of the garage. I have a cup right here next to this cup that cannot have any glitter on it. So of course I'm using glitter. Ah, what was that? What color was that? All right, we got this one next. So I'm trying to wait for the, like, the wind not to blow and add glitter. Ugh. Okay, so pretty, so pretty, so pretty, so pretty. All right, so at this point, 
I'm going to add a little bit of frosted pineapple because it's honestly such a pretty. It's like a translucent yellow. It's just pretty. I just add a little bit here and there. It brightens the, every, that base up just a tiny little bit. I, like I said in the earlier, I really like just using this like on the actual um, cup as soon as my, when the black opal is added because it kind of bangs out real pretty. Not obnoxious, not like crazy, you know, crazy gold. Just really, really pretty. But I, um, I kind of wanted to add it now. All right, so right now I'm going to take a look and see, number one, I've got spots I need to fill in, but what colors do we need? Um, so just kind of take a minute to kind of like watch it spin and see what hits and what doesn't. And yeah, the, adding this like ready color is awfully, like it goes against my sensibilities of color management, but I have to be honest, the cups I did before adding some kind of like a reddish element into all of the jewel tones really came out really pretty. So that's what we're going for. I think we're going to add, ooh, what are we adding? Maybe we'll add a little more blue. Just a little bit here and there. Like I said, there's no wrong or, or right, you know, answer to where these colors are going. You just want your cup color covered. And before anybody even asks, trust me, this would look absolutely stunning all with, um, um, ugh, my brain just left me. Color shifts, you know, ghost colors. Oh, Lordy, that would be gorgeous. What is traveling on my cup there? Hold on. Okay. There's something traveling. Yeah, come here. Come here. No. Okay. So this is appropriately covered. Super pretty. I know it doesn't look like much right now, but I promise it's going to be gorgeous. Woo. All right. We're going to let this epoxy um, cure. And then we are going to uh, move on to the next stage. Hi guys, good morning. So as I'm standing here getting ready to like start talking about the next segment, I feel like compelled to give you a public service announcement of sorts. Okay. See this very unpleasant color? See how that's kind of like a bleh. Okay, once upon a time, it looks like this. Where am I at? There I am. Once upon a time, it was a beautiful like... One of those purples that only works really good on black. This is what happens if you put your cup through the dishwasher too many times. One of these things is not like the other. So a little public service announcement on that. Anyway, moving on to our black opal. Okay, so our black opal, I went ahead, I did um, one run of epoxy on there. You can see it definitely, oh, my camera's flipped. This is gonna completely drive me crazy. So I'm on this end right now, like right there. See how it's got all sorts of chunky boinkies going on there? What I'm going to do, this is pretty much covered. Like it's not, you know, cover covered. It's it's not um, without flaws, let's put it that way. There's definitely a couple places at the lip that need, you know, a little bit more coverage. But for the most part, it's covered. So what I'm going to do is lightly, very lightly, we're not going ham on this because it only has one layer of epoxy. We're going to very lightly sand off these little boinkies, okay? And then we're going to send it over to the spinner. We're going to do our black opal. Yay! Yay! Super excited. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, and then I'm going to show you, too, once that black opal is down, and we're going to talk about black opal because I'm going to tell you something. You'll hear me say it about 14 times in this video unapologetically. When it comes to black pigment, less is more. You do not want to use a lot. If you are used to, um, you know, oh, I'm going to add all this for my, if you're like me, okay, if you're like me and you put a ton of shit in everything, a ton of mica, a ton of alcohol ink, you are just a classic over pourer, all right, don't do that. Don't do that with black opal. Don't do that. Or you'll be spinning a black cup. It'll just fully be black. So let's, let's calm down, okay? We're going to use a little bit of black pigment for maximum results because it's one of, it is, it's a medium that just takes over everything. So we are going to go ahead and get this, I'm going to sand this down. We're going to get it on the spinner. We're going to start playing with our pigment and, um, I'm going to, we need like, oh gosh, I gotta, hmm, I gotta go find them. Um, we're going to add that frosted pineapple glitter. We're going to, a little bit of that after we put the black pigment down, cause it's going to be absolutely beautiful. And I think we also, 
I feel like it's very necessary that we find um, our color shift um, flakes. I love flakes. If you've never worked for flakes, it's a whole other conversation we're gonna have. But flakes are basically like little color shift iridescent metallic type flakes that are more delicate than tissue paper. So lots of fun to work with. So let's go get started on all of that and then we will regroup in a bit. Alrighty kids, we are back on our favorite spinner. I've gone ahead and lightly sanded off some of those really big, you know, mountain bumps we had going on there. I'm not worried about sanding on the entire thing. I just needed it to be not crunchy. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to add probably a healthy 30 mLs of epoxy. When I, you know, the, the downside of running and doing cups, like, or should I say doing these cups in these tutorials at the same time I'm running other cups, I can't give you, I get exact an amount because I have like this huge ass, you know, cup of epoxy here. But I'm going to say we're going to go for a very healthy and determined 30 mLs. Um, you, it's no different than doing a normal alcohol ink uh, swirl cup. You need enough epoxy on this cup to where it's going to move. Now, we're not transitioning it and working it the same way that we do um, an alcohol ink swirl cup. We're not, you know, moving it all about for the swirl to, to happen. We're going to use our hand and actually just kind of like basically paint on the, uh, the pigment. But at the same time, a little bit of movement, you know, a little bit of the epoxy is going to still move and it's going to, it's going to create all the, all the magic. So, like I said, healthy, generous second helping at Thanksgiving dinner kind of 30 mLs. Use your best judgment um, as far as that. You definitely want it to, you know, the, the epoxy to have a presence there. You're not trying to micro coat this, this one. So, Okay, so I have a one of these little medicine cups just about full because this is a pretty sizable cup. Um, we are going to go ahead and Add our black pigment, if I had remembered to take the foil off, which I didn't. There we go. I'll be wearing that all day. Shocking. All right. Okay. Where am I at? Where's my camera? There it is. See that? That is all the black pigment I am using, okay, in this cup. So we're going to swirl it all around carefully because I slightly overfilled this and that cool look at that it's like pitch black oh. look at that that's my camera not focusing focus damn it it's probably too close Anyway, pitch black. So pretty. Okay. All right, safety first. Let's see here. Because I'm pretty sure this stuff would pay, probably, you know, paint your hands for days. Okay, so what we're going to do is just a little bit, and we're going to dab. Okay, look at that. Oh, it's deliciously thick. Look at that. And this is what we're doing. Now I'm going heavier in some places, a little bit lighter in others. I feel like I'm getting to that magic place where I have to be like, okay, stop. <laughs> Oh, 
Let me try to get my little edges. And then I kind of go back and cut out some of these glitter sections. And again, go back in some areas and make it a little bit darker. This is just how I like to do it. Basically, just kind of move it around so you're happy. All right, so what I'll do is I will walk away and let it do its little, its magic here for a minute. Um, as it rolls, it's going to spread out and, you know, kind of like alcohol ink, move and do its own thing. This way I can kind of come back, see if there's anything that's like glaringly, you know, missing, or if I want to add more in certain areas, or if I want to spread things out in certain areas. Um, I'm actually pretty happy with it. Probably could do something more in that area though. Hold on, let me get a glove. Ah! Everything else I'm pretty happy with. Just that one little section. Just paint just a little bit. Frosted pineapple. Okay, I want to brighten this up just a titch. I'm not going to go crazy with this. I'm just going to add this in a couple little spots. Just very light. My flakes. I love flakes. Flakes are fun. Flakes. Focus. Look like that. Okay. Flakes are fun. Um, trying to figure out how we're going to get the flakes on the cup. Okay. These little things are so freaking delicate and micro. And the problem with this is the slightest breeze, these will be all over your garage. Okay. So plan accordingly. If you're not like me and you're a really neat person, put something down. Put something down underneath your cup because this stuff does. It goes everywhere but it's worth it. And I'm just gonna put just micro amounts. And these flash so pretty against black. Should I do more than one color? I think we might. All right, hold on. Hold the phone. What else do I have? I have a bunch. What color is this? this? Ooh, this is like a red, I think. Shut up. Not pretty. Am I even getting these on the cup at this point? My god, can you see these things flying through the air? <laughs> Greeny green. Let's try that too. Oops, that got a little heavy handed right there. Okay. That, my friends, is our black oak.
Hey guys, what's up? Ah, let's all look at this. Look at that, focus, focus, focus. Isn't that pretty? This came out so pretty. I love black opal cups, I really do. They are the perfect combination of, you know, black and all things colorful. And that is totally my jam. Um, these are easy, these are fun, these are, uh, you can change out your color so many different ways. And I think I've pretty much, you know, hit on the majority of the things I would normally talk about here um, during the course of the, the tutorial. But let's recap, shall we? Um, number one, you know, when it comes to uh, laying down your glitter, just, you know, you, you don't have to be fancy with this. I mean, you saw what I did. I literally sprinkled a little bit here, sprinkled a little bit there. You could do um, like an actual, you know, swirl ombre effect if you wanted. That would be gorgeous. That might actually be something we will work on in the next one. Um, you know, you could do all monochrome. You could do, you know what I mean? Like you can just do so much. So whatever your favorite color combination, go with it. You know, once upon a time when I first started doing these, I would only use like fine glitter. And now adding the chunky in there, yeah, you know me, I love chunky glitter. So um, definitely, you know, fine chunky, it doesn't matter. Whichever way you wanna roll with it, you do you. Uh, black pigment, I cannot speak enough about black pigment. I love black pigment, but oh my word, mm, it will take your cup over in a heartbeat. Um, you know, I have to do everything extra. I have to do, you know, one more swipe of glitter, one more swipe of this, one more swipe, and don't do that with your black pigment. Your black pigment, if you are not careful, will completely take over your entire cup and you'll have just like 4% glitter, 96% black. So just be really mindful of that. Um, I know I've probably already said that about 17 times, but it bears repeating an 18th time. You know, just start start small and then add a little bit if you wanna if you wanna add more, but definitely don't go crazy on this and add what you normally would. You know, kind of temper yourself a little bit in that respect. Um, when it comes to the flakes, okay, I love absolutely love. I feel like I say that all the time. I love this. I feel like I should say something different, but I don't know what we're gonna say. I haven't had enough coffee to work through that. I love flakes. I really do. Their color shift, they are so freaking delicate though. And I hope, I know what I was, I was filming, I could see, and I was hoping it translated into like something that you could actually see by just like shaking the flakes over the cup. They all went in the air and they all just, ah, and that shows you exactly number one, how messy they are going to end up being. So definitely work in an area where you don't mind having a little bit of mess or where you can clean up easily. And number two, they're extremely delicate. And once upon a time, I would, um, before the pandemic, I used to buy my flakes from a certain vendor who doesn't carry them any longer. They all look the same, whether you get them on Amazon, whether you get them on eBay or Etsy or a private seller, it's all the same basic, you know, principle of what the actual item is. So I would, was purchasing from this one particular vendor and I would add my flakes to the epoxy and I'd do a little swirl swirl and mix it all around, add it to a cup. They were large. You know, they still looked large, chunky, you know, flakes. They were beautiful. When the pandemic hit, and remember the pandemic, we couldn't get crap. We couldn't even get spray paint. You know what I mean? Like, so I was getting flakes from somebody else. Again, beautiful, stunning. Add them into the epoxy, stir it all around, add it to the cup. And it never, I never even noticed. It's one of those things that I had that cup in the store for so long, but I really didn't sell very many of them. So, you know, I would do maybe, I don't know, one or two a year. So when I, you know, in pandemic time, you know, I did what I just said I did. And then the customer was like, messaged me and she's like the flip, you know, it, it doesn't look the same, you know, and she sent me pictures and I'm like, what do you mean it's not looking the same? And the flakes that I originally got were so large, they weren't large, but they stayed intact so well. The flakes from the pandemic is what I'm calling them. They, um, they broke up. And when I say that, I mean like, you know, they're large flakes, but as you apply them with the epoxy or you stir them, the flakes would, would crumble, okay? So you have little flecks. And like I said, it's just one of those things that it never even occurred to me that was gonna be a thing. And I just, I just got, was blind. I just didn't see it until she pointed out. And then I was like, oh yeah, that's, uh, sorry. Um, so, you know, by adding those flakes in the epoxy, because I it's one of those things that I know somebody's gonna ask, why don't you just add it to the epoxy? When you stir it and you mix it, they're going to disintegrate into tiny little shards, which is why 
I, I treated them as I did and I applied them directly to the cup, even though half of them were flying all through the air, it helps them stay intact and helps them stay the size and the, the, the quality, if you want, that, you know, really offers the best dramatic look for what it is that they are. Um, they come in so many different colors and hues, like, you know, purple, green, um, red, orange, yellow, green, green, blue, you know what I mean? So it's definitely something if you're interested, there's a lot of availability these days and there's a lot of availability and, and, um, you know, differences as far as colors. There's a lot of choices out there. Um, um, you know, this is just, I feel like there's really not much to say about this cup because it is, it's just easy peasy lemon squeezy. Um, uh, you know, I like adding the, the glitter on top of the black pigment. It's just my jam. I dig it. I like the, the contrast of the color and the black and then a little more, you know, blingy bling to it. You certainly don't need to do that. You can stop right at the, you know, the opal part of it, um, the black pigment part and, you know, it's going to be a stunning cup regardless. This is just me being all extra, you know, how I am. Um, when this was all done, uh, you know, after I went, did I get, I don't think I filmed me adding epoxy to the end. How many times do you guys really need to see me add epoxy? But my bad. Um, after I went ahead and added the black pigment, added the glitter, I let it run. Once it cured, I added two coats of epoxy, two thin coats just to, you know, get it where it needs to be here. You can absolutely add a decal, you know, um, a color shift vinyl on here would look absolutely beautiful. Um, whether it be for, as an outline or the primary color. Um, these are just, like I said, they're just really easy, you know, little galaxy inspired cups and they, uh, they come out really pretty. Like I said, I don't really have much to talk about this week. I'm sitting there going, what else should we talk about? Nothing. That's it. So as we've learned, some tips and tricks section go on for 30 minutes. Some go for five. I don't have anything else to say about this. It's just a really pretty cup and it's really, really easy. So definitely have fun with it. Now, one last thing, and I, I believe I touched on this in the video as well. If you don't have pigment or you don't have access to it, um, you can definitely use alcohol ink. I would definitely say go with I'll say like a you know high quality alcohol ink, but like a well-known brand, something like Pinata. To me, of the alcohol inks that I have used in regards to black, Pinata is the darkest. If you are like me and you have like those little multi-packs of like 25 colors of alcohol inks in the tiny little bottles, the black in that is not black. It's let's say a soft gray, which would still be beautiful. But you know, if you're looking for that super, super dark. Um, definitely go with something like a pinata and I would do more alcohol ink, you know, than obviously what I used as far as the pigment to try to make it as black as possible, you know, and mix that in with a little cup of epoxy. I've done that before, you know, um, the black pig, uh, well, actually I'll say the very first black opal I did was with alcohol ink because I was, you know, this old to tumbling and I certainly did not have, you know, I didn't know black pigment existed back in the day. So I know that I used to do mine with pinata alcohol ink. It's not going to really change much. It's going to be not maybe as, you know, midnight black, so to speak, but you're still going to be fine. You can definitely use that. And, um, you know, if you come along the way to where you can pick up some of the, the black pigment, go for it, but it's not a deal breaker. So I think that's pretty much it. If you are new to this channel, please consider liking and subscribing. And also don't forget to check out the community tab on the Wicked Whiskey Design channel page not this video but the channel page that's where i normally keep all of um like the products my everyday products and such that i that i get from amazon it's kind of like my little amazon storefront if you will uh it's just easier than trying to direct people to different videos and i have a lot of people ask me you know where do you get this where do you get that you know for case in point the shelves and such so that's where I keep all of those tabs um and links they are affiliate links so if you click on any of them I make like 20 cents, which is fine, but it's just a place where I can have all of those, you know, all of those links and all of that information in one spot. So definitely check that out if you're looking for anything in particular. Um, other than that, everything that I used for this cup is linked down in the description box below. And um, that's pretty much it. I will see you guys next week. Have a good one. Bye.